Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geek. Today we would be discussing the solution of this problem. In this problem, we are given a string of s which contains only lower case alphabets, and we need to find the longest substring of s such that the characters can be rearranged to form a palindrome. This is what you need to do. So basically, even if it is a a b, then it would be considered as a valid candidate for this. Why? Because it can be rearranged to a b a and formed a palindrome. This is what is needed. Now we can say that this is a valid sequence. Okay, that is why the output to this is three itself. Now let's talk about the most naive approach or the brute force approach. The brute force approach for this problem would be to generate all the possible substring. How to generate all possible substring? Suppose we have a b c and d. So what we would do is we would use a for loop. Suppose it would be pointed here, okay, and this would run from zero till n, and the next one would run from suppose this and this. So it would only contain only contain a and a, then it would contain a and b, then it would contain a and c, then it would contain a and d. Now if we do the second part, then this would occur. Then we have only b, then we have b c, then we have b d. So what we can do is we can use a for loop int i which would run from zero to n, and int j which would initialize from i and run till less than n, and we would be able to get all the possible substring, and we can just see if the occurrence of each character is even, considering an exception that one character can be given the liberty to have a odd. Not more than one character. Why? Because if there is a character with an odd, so we can have it as suppose C is odd. Suppose C is only there, and we have A A, we have A A. So this is how we can map this. Okay, and we have this. That is why we have the liberty to use this, and it can be also like this also. So even if everyone is odd and one is uh, everyone is even, but there is only one odd, we can do both would work. Now fast forward to this. what we can do is we can try to think what are the possible ways so in the first place itself it seems that it is a two pointer problem that we would simply iterate over it but as this is not a valid solution i won't be digging deep but still i'm telling you that we would just have a pointer low and high and we would keep initializing it and we would keep checking it but that not going to work because the rearranging part would make it to n square okay now the next approach we can think of as lower case alphabet so if it is lower case alphabet that means we can make it to 26 okay we can iterate over the trend value of 26 now what is this 26 thing so this 26 are the alphabets from a to z this is only we need to iterate so if we think what are the available ways the first one is to have a frequency array but that won't solve the issue to a much extent because we need to consider all substrings so what we can think of as bit representation because if it is an integer we would have 32 bits if we have a long long that means we would have 62 or 64 bits okay this is what we can do now the next part is how to do that so what we can do is suppose we have zero so let's talk about toggling okay so this is a very popular way of toggling a particular bit but still i would be telling you so if we do a zor with one that both are different okay that would be making to one itself so zero is now made to one and if we zor one with one that would make it zero so we can say that if we zor zero with one that would toggle it and if we zor is one with one that would toggle it so we can safely see that if we want to toggle this bit then we can simply zor it with one and if its value is 0 we would make it to 1 if its value is 1 we would make it to 0 it's simply like saying that if it is 0 make it 1 if else make it 0 just like the else if else part okay hope i am clear till this point let's move forward what we can do is we can store the bit mass okay so initially suppose it is 0 then we come across a a and then again b b okay fair enough so now initially everything would be 0 Okay, zero, 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 zero. Okay, suppose 
this is the point so now z a can be treated as 0 0 1 1 i can do that now what i can do is i can go to the bit of a 0 and i can toggle it so now 0 would be toggled to 1 okay have i seen 1 before no i have not seen 1 before so i would save 1 with the index as 0 then i would come across this part okay then I would again toggle this, okay, 0. Yes, I have seen this value. When? Initial value. So, what I can say is this value and this value, okay, the difference. So, I would store the different, the, the first occurrence as minus 1. I can do that. Why? Because minus 1, okay, and this would make it minus 1, minus 1 would make it. Okay, fair enough. Now, we come across B. So, we would see that if it has even occurrence, then we would encounter the same bit representation again. So, we can say that the last time we saw a representation, suppose I saw it at index 5 and this time I am seeing at index 10. That means from index 5 to index 10, it is a valid palindromic substring which can be rearranged to form a palindrome. Okay. This is the implementation. Now, to save the values, what we would do is we would take and help of the data structure known as map itself. Okay. And this is a bitmark, so we would also do that. Now, let us dive to the implementation. What we would do is we would first find the length. You can directly, because there is only two usage, so you can directly do it. So, now we have the answer as zero. Initially, the answer would be the minimum possible because even if it is the lowest maximum, we can catch it. Now, we started off with zero and we told that we would have zero. Now, we saw that if it is AA, then we need something, okay, then we need something that if the current index is equal to 1, minus 1, okay, minus 1, then it would be minus minus plus, that would make it 2. Yes, we have the value as 2. That is why we are initializing that with minus 1. Then we are having S of i minus a. Why this? Because a has a ASCII value of 97. So, if we subtract 97 minus 97, that would make it 0. And B's value is 98. So, 98 minus 97 would make it 1. That would automatically map A with 0, B with 1, C with 2, and D with 3. That is, and it goes on. Now, we would try to zor it. Zor it would make it toggle. Now, if we are, if the current index, the, this particular value is not seen before, what if the particular value is seen before? This is seen before. If it is not making till the end, that means it is seen before, it is somewhere between. So, what we are doing? Current index minus the index we have seen. Okay, and that we would take the maximum. Else, we would just save the value. Now, there is one more case to be handled. So, we have handled till now, we have handled the case when the even, when every value is even, and when there is no given liberty to have one odd. Now, to make it one odd, what we can do is we can go to every bit representation, okay, and then make it to even, okay, make it even. If we make it even, we have seen this or not. That is what we are doing, okay. So we are just giving a particular index one liberty that yes, you can do it. That is why for after every masking at this position, this is for even and this is for the odd purpose, okay. Then you would have the answer and you need to return that. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day. If you face any difficulty regarding this, consider asking that in the comment section. Thank you.